Guys, we're gonna do a little smoked candy pecans today. We're gonna do it on our wood fire grill. These are gonna turn out amazing. I've done it many times before. This is actually a recipe from my cookbook. Now guys, I have four e-cookbooks for the wood fire grill. So I'll put the links down below. Make sure you check them out. They're five bucks each, or they're 15 bucks if you buy the bundle. So save a little bit of cash, help out your boy. Keep making great content, right? Right. Now with these candy pecans, we're gonna kinda move and groove with this a little bit because the pecans come from the pecan pantry, right? And these people are the makers of my smoky pecan pellets. So they decided to take the shells from these gourmet pecans. And I believe me when I tell you they're gourmet. These are better than anything you get in the store. And they took the shells off of these and turn them into pellets for your smoker. You know, I've been rocking with these pellets for a long time. So when I decided to come up with this video recipe, you know I had to put them together. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna use them both and put them over the side. Now with the recipe in the cookbook, I break it down to a certain amount of brown sugar you use, some salt you're gonna use, and some cinnamon. But for this video, I'm gonna use Uncle Steve's dessert shake. This stuff, I put it on anything. Dude, this on some vanilla ice cream, it's just life changing, but we're gonna put it on the pecans today. This has the brown sugar, it has the cinnamon, it has the salt, all the stuff in it. If you don't wanna go out and grab this, uh, I'll have the recipe down below. So exactly the what you need to use for the brown sugar, the salt and, and cinnamon and all that. But I suggest you get some of this stuff, all right? With the recipe from the cookbook, I tell you on a little eight by eight sheet, you know, to spread out the pecans after they're all dressed up. But I have the griddle plate for the wood fire. I'm just gonna use that. So we're gonna mix it all up in here and then we'll take it out back and spread them out on that griddle plate after it's gone through the ignition process. But if you do not have the griddle plate, you can use a little eight by eight tin in there, or you could just use some tin foil and set it on the grill plate. So don't overthink it. We're just giving it a good smoke. We're gonna give it a good mix. And the heat that's coming on it, you know, with the smoke that it's getting, is gonna start caramelizing and candifying, candifying, candifying those pecans, and they're gonna turn out amazing, okay? So, nothing left to do but get started, start making our little concoction here for the pecans, and we'll head out back. Let's go. We got our pecan halves in there. We're gonna go in with about a half a cup of this pure maple syrup here. Yes, sir. All right, and I'll have the exact measurements down below. And like I said, if you don't have the sweet dessert shake from Uncle Steve's, I got you covered. And y'all, this is purely optional, but we got a little hot honey here. I think it'll kind of combat the sweet, add a little different touch of, hmm, I wonder what that is. Well, that would be hot honey. There you go. Of course, we're gonna go in with the sweet dessert shake. We're gonna be fairly liberal with the yeah. The recipe without the dessert shake calls for a cup of brown sugar. So we'll keep it right about there. And we're gonna mix this up. We wanna get everything nice and coated. So really take the time to mix this up. Get them, get those pecan halves completely covered, okay? And you'll be able to see that they're getting nice and glistening and sticky sweet. These, I'll tell you what, when I get done with these, I'm gonna chop these up and put them on my vanilla ice cream. All right. So just take a minute or two and really give them a good stir. All right, what do you say we get out to that wood fire, get it fired up with those smoky pecan pellets to go with our pecan pantry pecan house. God, those look beautiful, don't they? Whew, this is gonna be tasty. Let's go. Team, we are outside. We have our smoking pecan pellets in. We got our griddle plate down. We got our lovely pecans right here. Let's go ahead and get this thing fired up. We use the on button to turn it on. I know, novel concept. Smoker setting, temperature, let's go 275. And the Celsius will read somewhere, yeah. All right, time. Just leave the default on there. We're only going about 20 to 30 minutes, okay? Wood fire flavor light is lit. Now let's hit start. 
All right, while it's going through that ignition process, getting that smoke rolling, basically we're gonna spread these out on a nice thin layer over that griddle plate. So about halfway through, we'll give them a little stir, a little mix, a little flip, a little shake, a little move, a little groove. All right, so about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, give or take. Shouldn't take longer than 30 minutes to get it nice and candied up the way we want them to be. But you know this is gonna be good. Whoa, look at all that good smoke, baby. Woo! Know we got that good smoky pecan pellets going. I'm gonna give this one last little stir, make sure we're good. Let's get them out on the pan here, the griddle plate as it were. Oh, don't yell at me. And don't worry, you know, since you got the griddle plate here, it's non-stick. It will be sticky, but it will clean up just perfectly. Really kind of spread these out so they got enough space in between to you know absorb that good smoke yeah folks those are looking really nice you know they're gonna be sticky sweet and then a little bit of spice to them let's go i love it guys i'm pumped up this is so cool it's amazing what you can do with this machine all right i'll see you in about 10 minutes about i don't know 12 minutes in <laughs> let's go ahead and give these a little shake a little stir just make sure they're getting both sides Everybody's getting smoke and candy fine. Right, another 15 minutes of smoke will do it right. Guys, we're a half hour in. These, <clears throat> whew, still smoky, still smoky. Let's take a closer look here. Beautiful caramelization. Perfect, exactly what we want. That's gorgeous, guys. We're gonna turn this off. 30 minutes is plenty of time. We're gonna take the griddle pan off and let it cool down. And then we'll scrape all these off into another uh, serving dish. And we'll uh, grab a bite and talk about it. Oh, we're done. We're in the house. We've let these cool down. They became like, kind of like a brittle around the outside. Had to kind of chunk at it with a spatula, but they're perfect. Mmm. Sweet, savory, nutty goodness. Just like your boy. So damn good. And I'll tell you what, if you have a chance to get some of this dessert shake, it goes perfectly on these, uh, this pecan halves. So, guys. If you want to get the wood fire grill so you can make this yourself. In fact, you can make this in the wood fire oven too. You're just using the smoker setting. All right? All right. Links will be down below. There are affiliate links. But it doesn't cost you more to use them. Helps out your boy. All right? If you want to get some of those beautiful pecans, those gourmet pecans from the pecan pantry, I'll put a link down below. It'll save you 5% when you use my link. And if you need some of them smoking pecan pellets, there's a link down below for those two. And those will save you 10% when you use my link. All right. Don't forget those cookbooks either. A lot more of these wonderful recipes. And you're going to love it. And I'm working on a holiday cookbook. Should be out pretty soon. So keep an eye out for that one. If you'd like to become a show producer, like all the awesome people scrolling in front of me, people that like a little spice with their candy pecans, and they're using that hot honey. That's right. <laughs> there are two ways to join up. Either you hit that Patreon link in my video description, or hit that join button right next to the subscribe button. You should have already hit mine now. But other than that, guys, we're done. Listen, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.